Hey kids. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna refinish a tub. This tub is a nice yellow tub. We're gonna turn it white. Cause I'm not replacing this bad boy. It's staying. So I bought this kit and I'm working through the steps right now. And the first couple steps involves prepping. So they want you to scour it down, clean it, prepare it, and sand it down, put some scouring on it, which is what I did. I did some 220, I'm sorry, 400 grit sandpaper. Did the whole tub all around. And then you use their cleaning the, uh, package that they give you. You mix it with water solution, you wipe it all down. So now it's all prepped. I'm gonna tape it off now. We're gonna actually begin the first coat. Now this is important. Applying the first coat, you're only supposed to wait three hours before you put the second coat. So this isn't something that you can do, wait overnight and come back and put the second coat. This requires your attention. So you have to be on site or be prepared to be back for second coat between the third and fourth hour. So I'm gonna go tape it off right now and um, I'll begin the first coat. When you're taping the drains, what I like to do is I'll just put the tape right across straight and I just use a knife and I'll just trim it right out around the edges. And that way there you can just peel it right off and you get your drains covered. And I'll do the same for the fixture the shut off. I won't need to cover this because I'm not doing the tile. So it's all taped off now. And I guess what makes this stuff good is you really don't even have to be good with a brush. Because I'm not and this um, apparently will regardless self-level or flatten out for you the type of epoxy that it is kind of prides itself that on that you don't have to be a good painter we're definitely gonna find that out for sure so we're gonna give this uh, home max tough light a good stirring they don't I was just shaking it and I'm not supposed to see Duh. it doesn't it says it does not recommend shaking because it will create air bubbles so I'm going to pop it open and we're going to use a stir stick they want you to stir it, shake it, and stir it. Not stirred, not shake it. All right, now I'm being retarded. So I'm gonna shake it up and I'll be right back. All right, be prepared to spend a lot of time on your knees. Insert joke here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start with my first brush strokes. I advise that you start at the back and work your way in because you're gonna be doing a lot of leaning into this tub and of course you don't wanna do the front and put your body all in it. So make sure you start with the back wall area and work your way to, towards yourself. So we're gonna do the first stroke. Let's see what happens here. Now they say that the first stroke is okay, the first stroke, the first coat, it's okay to not have it perfect because it's actually acting more of a primer at this point. So this is kind of difficult for me to do both this and film. So I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna get going on this and I will come back with the final coat. Well, so you definitely have to have some brush technique. It's very thick. This isn't like uh, a latex paint, and it's it's just hard to work with. It dries, it sets quick on one side. So you got to keep your wet lines moving. You just got and your wet line is where you leave off. So if you're painting one section, you got to keep going off that wet line and keep going, keep going, 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 going. Don't paint and go all the way around. Stop one side. 
come back and then do a whole side. That side's drying and what happens is it'll all pale on you when you go back to continue. But anyways, this first coat, and like they were saying, you really don't have to worry too much about your brush stroke. At least I hope. <laughs> so, we'll see, I have to put the second coat, now you come back three to four hours in between, that's the, the time it needs to set, you can put the second coat, and then there's a third step. So, um, I'm gonna come back in three hours, and I'll have another video for the second coat because I can't keep it all in one video. I don't know how to do that yet. Goodbye.